What is up guys and welcome back to another player review. We are going to be looking at a silver player today and he goes by the name Muriel. He was very famous in FIFA 13. In FIFA 14 you didn't see him as much but he looks really awesome for a silver player and he goes for around 110k right now so very expensive for a silver right at the start of FIFA 15. He could be rising as well who knows what's going to happen. So if you guys are looking for a cheap and reliable place to get you coin check out battle.com the link will be in the description and use the code ETHONY to get 5% off. If you're looking for PSN cards or Microsoft points check out G2A the link will also be in the description and use the discount code ETHONY to get a discount. Now Muriel Silver there is a lot of good stuff about him, but there's a lot of bad stuff at the same time. So to begin with, this guy, you could easily pace abuse, and that's exactly what you need in this game. Now, if you look at the Serie A strikers, he's the only one that has enough pace that's a silver. So keep that in mind when you're making your silver teams. He's the only one that has over 86 pace, I think. Yeah, he's the only one. So awesome dribble at the same time. You could easily dribble past defenders and you'll see that loads of times in this video he seems like a silver Sal basically. He do he definitely actually feels like a silver FIFA 13 Sal. Full star skills and full star weak foot. That is amazing for a silver player. I didn't even expect him to have that but he does. Perfect work rates as well. High attacking and low defending. This guy will always be in position when you're attacking. So what is not good about him? Well let's start with one of the things that annoyed me the most and that is his finishing. Oh my days. The amount of opportunities I was able to create with this guy, but then at the end he just doesn't finish it. That was really annoying me, and you're going to see a lot of that in the video. But at the same time, I had to put a lot of goals, at so just don't expect him to be an awesome finisher. I expect I just he's not reliable in the penalty area. Let's put it as that he is not reliable, and you're going to have to tramp it a lot of the time if you're going to try and finish with Muriel. Shooting wise, he's quite he's just quite crappy, even inside the penalty area. Outside of it, it's just impossible to score with him, so keep that in mind as well, his shooting is really bad. But now that doesn't mean that he's not going to score you any shots, he will score you every now and then a shot, which you will see in the video, but a lot of the time they go wide, the keeper saves them very easily. Even when you're right next to the keeper and you want to finesse it, the keeper saves it because of how shit this guy's shoot, uh, finishing is, sorry. So overall, he's a really nice player to have in your Serie A squad because he's one of the top strikers to have in your Serie A silver squad, but he's not perfect and he does, have, he does come with some annoyances. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd really appreciate a like. Is he worth 110k? Well, he is the best Serie A silver that, well, Serie A silver striker that you could use. And when I say use, basically abuse the game mechanics. So hope you guys enjoyed it and let me know in the comment section below who would you like me to review next. And if you've tried this guy out, let me know your thoughts on him in the comment section below. Muriel gets a 7.5 out of 10.